August 2022, a crazy month for LEGO releases. There are close to 100 new sets coming out. That is insane. So today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at all of those sets. Let's get started. All right, I know I said I'm going to talk about uh, August, but let's get started with something coming out in October. And that's the new LEGO Ideas Office set. This thing is insane. There are so many minifigures in this set. I thought they were gonna not like go all out on the minifigures, but they did. And also they went all out with like the Easter eggs as well. Like look at it right here. <laughs> it's got the stapler in the uh, the Jello. Uh, there's the copy machine. There's the uh, Kevin's chili. There's the world's best boss uh, mug. There's all sorts of stuff. There's like all the minifigures and everything just came together wonderfully and there's some good parts and everything like that. I will say that it is like the sitcom set. So, you know, there's not really like the walls or anything like that. Like it's, it's an open concept, but all these uh, things here are like all little mini modules that will pop off, which is pretty cool. But this thing is loaded full of amazing Easter eggs. This picture here demonstrates how those little modules can pop off. So those rooms are all you know, they can be separated from the bigger model. There's Michael Scott right there with the world's best boss mug. The set is clearly loaded full of sticker elements though. You can see all of the sticker elements all over the walls there. In Michael's office, there's all sorts of things like the Dundee, the golden ticket, uh, the megaphone. Then there's Michael's essential oils pyramid scheme. Kevin's chili, yes, classic episode. And there's 15 minifigures. I mean, there's a lot that can be dissected from this set here. I don't really want to spend five, 10 minutes talking about it, but you definitely could because there is a lot to unpack with this set here. And it looks pretty amazing for The Office. Really glad that they gave us 15 minifigures. Okay, another thing that they're giving us in October. I know it's supposed to be August, but we may as well talk about Bowser. Keep in mind that all of these prices that you see are in Canadian dollars. This is 350. Canadian dollars coming out on August 1st. This is the mighty Bowser with 2,807 pieces. He stands uh, 12 and a half inches tall and 16 inches wide. So this thing is an absolute beast. It looks absolutely fantastic. And he's just gonna be a perfect display piece with some of our other 18 plus style uh, Mario sets. And I cannot wait to get it. Okay, let's move on to August. First off, we all know this one here is coming out on August 8th, and this is the Lion Knight's Castle. I recently did a review on this one here. It comes with 22 minifigures. It is just packed full of moving features. The way it can open up is spectacular. You can display it as one big long open thing with the uh, open scenes in the back, or you can display it as one compact unit, which I think is uh, fantastic. And uh, it's available, uh, actually it starts earlier than August 8th, I guess it's uh, August 3rd for uh, VIP members. So if you're not a VIP member and you wanna get this thing early, make sure you become one today. The Sanctum Sanctorum, gonna retail for 310 bucks, but this thing is like a legit Lego Sanctum Sanctorum modular building. Yes, I am very excited for this set, 2,708 pieces. It is a corner building, it is legit. It has so many interior details, some fantastic minifigures. And as you can imagine, I'm very excited to integrate this one onto Pop Culture Street in the Lego City. <laughs> like super hyped, it is gonna be awesome. It's got some really cool figs too. I like that. They could have done a lot more with the minifigures to be truthful, but I'm happy with the ones that we got. There's also some new Technic stuff coming out. Uh, this is the Airbus H. 175 rescue helicopter. So we're getting a massive rescue helicopter uh, with 2,001 pieces. I probably won't be getting this one here though. I think I'm just gonna stick to the uh, Technic vehicles. Although I don't have a large helicopter, you can see how big it is right there. This thing is an absolute beast. There's one other Technic set coming out. This one is also pretty expensive. It's 200 bucks and this is the material handler. Oh, I skipped right over the other uh, Lego Marvel set that's coming out. I Am Groot. I'm actually really excited about this one. I mean, it's been uh, advertised for quite some time, so we all know about I Am Groot, but I like the specifications plaque that it comes with, and also the cassette tape. I think that's a nice little uh, addition to the set for sure. All right, we got some new Star Wars stuff coming out as well. We've got Cad Bane Ship, which is the Justifier. Uh, comes with the Cad Bane minifigure 
and more, of course. So it looks pretty good. I don't think I'm going to get the Justifier, believe it or not. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know why. I just, I, I don't think I'm going to get this one. It's got some pretty rad minifigures. I could probably use a couple more maybe, though. You know, maybe a couple more minifigures for the Justifier. 1,022 pieces in that one. Going to retail for $210 here in Canada. Woo! But this next one here is not lacking minifigures. It's going to retail for 180 bucks. And look at all the minifigures you get in there. Holy cow. There are a lot of troopers in there. Also, the new clone commander, Cody. I'll definitely be getting this one. However, I don't know if this one's coming out on August any or in August anymore. Uh, it says coming soon now. So I'm very curious to see if this is actually going to be available at the Lego store on August 1st. It's a smaller set, but I'm pretty hyped on it. It's 40 bucks. This is the new... Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. And then of course something I have to get is the new Brickheads of course. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get the Inquisitor Transport or not. It does come with some cool figs. Don't know if I should be scooping this up just to get the figs. But it also might look good on the shelf with some of the other Lego Star Wars ships for sure. 130 bucks though, 924 pieces. I'll probably get this one eventually. Maybe not on new issue day though. And then we all saw this one. I announced it on the channel the other day. This is the new LEGO Creator Expert vehicle coming out or LEGO Icons if you want to call it. This is the Camaro Z or Z28, I guess. We, us Canadians say Z, I'm sorry. Actually, it's only Americans that say Z. So <laughs> most people around the world would say Z or Z. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's got all the different colors uh, that you can interchange, which is very nice. I love that. Uh, Edition, and I liked how you could make it a convertible as well. Anyone a fan of the Rolling Stones? If you are, then this like 3D sort of style art of the Rolling Stones logo would be a good addition to your Lego room for sure. Uh, I don't listen to the Stones that much, so I don't think I'm going to be getting the Rolling Stones art, but it's got a really cool Easter egg built inside of it. I might be getting my fourth architecture set of all time. I might get the Pyramid of Giza. I'm not too sure. It is coming out on August 1st. It's been advertised for quite some time. I've been humming and hawing about it for quite some time, and I don't know if I'm going to get this one or not. I have a total of three architecture sets right now. This could potentially be my fourth one. I've got to draw the line somewhere. I really like this Viking ship, actually, though. Like, I might get that one. You could get a couple of these and supersize the Viking ship. Of course, it's a three-in-one set, so you can build multiple different things. I would build the Viking ship myself. It, it, you know, the 3 in 1 pirate ship is one of my favorite 3 in 1 sets. So I might get this one just because I like that one so much. I actually didn't mind the brick built sails and stuff like that. And like I said, if you got a couple of these, you could supersize it and build a giant Viking ship, which would be pretty astronomical if you ask me. Got another 3 in 1 set here, a little bit smaller. This is the Sunken Treasure Mission. I like the look of that octopus, that's for sure. And this is another one that I would consider getting a couple of or maybe supplementing it with my own parts. And this is the Noodle Shop. And uh, it might make a nice little corner building or just a straight up modular building for the uh, LEGO City. Of course, there's multiple options, but I think the first option always, is always the best when it comes to three-in-ones. The Noodle Shop looks pretty decent. Pretty small though. Would like to see uh, a little bit more parts in there. Maybe make these things a little bit bigger, but then I, I guess at that point it just becomes a modular building. But, I mean, looking at the photos right now, it just looks a little simplistic. I, I would have to take it to the next level myself. Of course, they're always going to come out with new classic stuff as well. And then there's the new uh, flower art. Honestly, I don't, I, I'm don't. i not a huge fan of it. I could see a lot of people building custom mosaics with uh, this set here, though. There's the Lego Friends horse show trailer. Got those Friends horses, which actually look pretty majestic. And the trailer looks like a good build. So does that Jeep pulling it. It actually looks pretty decent, I won't lie. I like how they have the windows for the horse heads to like stick out the side of the trailer. I think that's pretty neat. But I, I don't think I'll be getting it even with that said, but I do think that's a neat concept. A good looking trailer actually. Some more friend sets. We've got another uh, little mini water park coming out here as well. And these have been advertised for a while. We've got some new Duplo animals coming out. These are the animals of Europe, animals of South America, animals of Asia. And there's one other Duplo set coming out. This one's not wild animals, but it is the Spider-Man and Friends Fun Fair. And there's also a gingerbread house coming out in the Duplo set as well. I honestly might have to start considering some of these based on the fact that I have twins on the way. We also have the first puppy and kitten with sounds. 
And finally, a fire truck. The Minecraft Skeleton Dungeon has been advertised for quite some time. And same with the Abandoned Village. Yes, this is something I'm hyped for. This is going to be super cool. This is the 007 Aston Martin Speed Champion set. Yes, you get a James Bond minifigure, Daniel Craig, the DB5. Yeah, I want that big time. That is so cool. That's a wicked vehicle. Obviously, going to look really good with the other Speed Champions. And I really do like the James Bond movies. Super hyped on that one there. Super hyped, but not as hyped. We also have the Fast and the Furious Dom's Dodge Charger coming out in Speed Champions form as well. Uh, comes with uh, Don Toretto there. No family though, but yeah. <laughs> this one obviously we'll be getting as well and adding that to our Speed Champions collection. There's a couple uh, football brickheads coming out as well. So we've got uh, FC Barcelona. They're all... Uh, customizable so you can customize the numbers and also the name on the back of the jersey and you can also uh, customize the gender and hair and everything like that as well so it's a pretty cool uh, idea or concept for brickheads and they're actually doing Manchester United like that as well we got some more uh, animal brickheads we've got the koi fish here also the uh, poodles and then the uh, little seasonal set that comes out. I actually like this one. This is for uh, Halloween, and it's the cat and mouse. It also comes with like that pumpkin. They've been doing these for a while now. They do like holiday ones. They do like polar bear, I think. And what else? They're up top there. I don't know. They, they've done lovebirds. They've done all sorts of different ones. Uh, I can't even remember. Like most of them have like little Easter eggs in the bottom. Like the Halloween one had like a spider in it the Christmas one or holiday one had the uh, snowflake in it so they had like little easter eggs inside the bottom of them and they're pretty cute fun little builds. There's also the uh, Paris postcard so these are the new postcard sets. Uh, not bad. I think they're fun. I think they're good replacements or substitutes for architecture sets. We actually had some of the other ones on our channel but uh, I, I really do think that these are pretty decent. This one I mean you could grab uh, one of these just for the sticker elements and uh, or just have a small representation of a Lego store in your Lego collection. You can also use the design of it to supersize your own Lego store for your Lego city or just make a little mini Lego store by substituting some of the parts and stuff like that. We had a detailed look at this the other day and I shared my thoughts on it. There's also all sorts of new monkey kid stuff coming out including this mech right here that's going to retail for 150 bucks. I never got into any of the Monkey Kid mechs yet. This one actually comes with uh, quite a few figures. You see them down there on the bottom? I'm actually surprised. Look at that. There's quite a few figures for a mech set, I would say. Uh, granted, I don't know much about the mechs because I haven't collected any of them, but for 150 bucks, 1,003 pieces, but a ton of interesting parts and lots of minifigs. Also, I like this one here. Like They've done Lloyd's Dragons before, but this Ultra Dragon looks vicious. Once again, a ton of minifigures. I'm actually over top of some of them there but this thing's got like what four heads some awesome wings look at that minifigure holy crow <laughs> oh i don't even know what that is but that minifigure looks rad holy crow <laughs> i just had holy crow twice we also have the crystal king here and then uh, kai's golden dragon raider so it's like a uh, ninjago vehicle this one is the dragon temple a little more basic there for sure now we have Cole's Dragon Cruiser, so a couple different vehicles now. Look at those wings on that guy. Whoa. Then Zane's Golden Dragon Jet. Looks like a pretty interesting flying vehicle. And once again, we get those wings on that minifigure. Holy crap. Those minifigures, like the minifigures in Ninjago are honestly like, oh, like, like crazy cool. Also coming up with Jay's motorcycle as well. And once again, the wings are there. The wings are present. That's it for Ninjago. Moving on to Monkey Kid. This one here has been advertised for quite some time. This is the Heavenly Realms. And we also have a dragon coming out in the Monkey Kid series as well. This is the Dragon of the East. Definitely a different looking dragon there. Different than what we're used to seeing uh, in the Ninjago sets, I feel. Oh, look at that. That's a good part usage right there with the coral reefs coming out the tail and out the uh, the top of his head. And this is the last Monkey Kid set here. This is the Monkey Kids Team Van. Personally, I don't have any Monkey Kids sets like at all. Like barely any. I think I have the Brickhead. I think that's it. We got some new Disney sets coming out. Actually, uh, this one here looks different. Uh, lots of uh, princesses there. Like a ton of princess minifigures. Oh, it folds up too. First time looking at it with you today, folks. It folds up too, and I guess there's different scenes which would represent different princesses, I would assume. Let's see? That's different. 
Then some smaller uh, Mickey and Minnie stuff coming out as well. So this is Mickey and Friends Castle Defenders. Cinderella and Prince Charming's castle here as well. Actually, that castle looks like it's got some interesting parts on it. Like, look at that, like, dome or cone element at the top there. Whoa, those are some, like, sparkly blue elements. Jose actually might want some of these. I like the look of those parts, that's for sure. Also got some stitch on patches there in Disney. So this is like Dots Disney crossover. Look at those tiles actually with Mickey and Minnie, the one by one circular tiles. Just look pretty fresh. Uh, I got some Frozen stuff as well. This is uh, Anna and Olaf's castle. And we got some more Disney uh, dot stuff. Ooh, look at all the tiles in there. You got like Mickey Mouse's hand. There's uh, Pluto, Donald Duck, wow. There's actually some good tiles for whatever you might need them for. Look, there's like Mickey, Minnie, oh wow. I, this is, that's actually pretty cool. It's my first time seeing it. Camping, I wanna go camping. <laughs> that looks like a fun little camping trip there with three cool minifigs. There's a little fairground set too. Hey, a little roller coaster track. Look at Goofy up there. Oh, look at the Mickey ears too. It's like a giant Mickey ears right there. I like that. It's actually something that we could integrate into our own amusement park, just like that part usage to create those Mickey ears. Some more Mickey Mouse dot stuff as well there. And there's like this little mini micro scale haunted mansion coming out as well. We all knew that we were getting a haunted mansion, but I don't think like, like it was rumored for a while, but I don't think we expected it to be this size. I'm sort of disappointed by this. I'm honestly not overly thrilled by it. I, I don't think I'll be getting it. 680 pieces, what's it retail for? 55 bucks. I don't think we're gonna get that. All sorts of Mario stuff coming out as well. We uh, have been seeing this stuff for quite some time. This is the Cat Peach suit and uh, Frozen Tower expansion set. We also have uh, the character packs. This is series five. Then we have the Peach's Castle expansion set as well. I actually like to look at that Bowser, but it's not as good as the other Bowser that we saw at the beginning of this video. Then we got Big Spike's Cloud Top Challenge expansion set. Adventures with Peach starter course. So this is gonna come with your Peach digital figure there. Yoshi's Gift House expansion set, the Fuzzy Flippers expansion set, and then we're on to city stuff. The new freight train coming out. Oh yeah, I probably shouldn't get this, but I might. If I see it on sale one time, I might. I'll probably wait to see it on sale though. Got too many trains. The wife says no more trains. But look at this one, it's got like that crane. Ooh, that crane looks pretty good actually. And this train looks like futuristic. It definitely looks a lot different. Like look at those uh, train cars. And just like the nose on the uh, lead car, definitely looks a lot different. And to go along with those trains is a new train station, comes with a bus. There was a train station in the past. This one is significantly different than that one though. And then we've seen all this stunt stuff before. There is the double loop stunt arena, the smashing chimpanzee stunt loop, the reckless scorpion stunt bike, the bathtub stunt bike, the touring stunt bike with the big mustache, the shark attack stunt challenge. Sharks, oh my God, it's like Sharknado. I've never seen that. The blade stunt challenge, ooh, dangerous. The knockdown stunt challenge. And also there's a little grocery store coming out as well. And it looks like they sell some fresh stuff at that grocery store. Whoa, there is some crazy stuff coming out in August, hey? That was wild, like a hundred awesome looking sets. Well, not all 100 of them look awesome, but there's some good Star Wars stuff. There's the Sanctum Sanctorum, obviously. Uh, there's some of that three-in-one stuff. All sorts of things from pretty much every product line. What's your favorite one? Let us know by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. And thank you so much for popping on by. Farewell.